what if I could show you a way for you to increase the number of sales on your Shopify store without installing a single app on your store? And that's gonna mean no extra monthly fees, no slowdown code on your store that's gonna decrease your sales. And this is a way that's gonna be guaranteed to get you more sales. Sound good? Let me show you how. All right, so let's think back to the last online purchase that you made. And I want you to try and remember what are the emails that you were most likely to open, okay? So we're talking about your email, your, your order confirmation email. We're talking about your shipment confirmation email. We're talking about your shipment delivered emails. Now you can apply this method to any of the other automated emails that come out of Shopify. I'm gonna show you how to add your own discount code into those emails, which are default Shopify emails. And that's gonna mean that everybody who opens those emails will have a, a, a nice easy link to click back to Shopify store with a nice cool discount to go and order your products again. Because we know that after a customer has actually ordered from you, put their, con their contact information in, put their credit card information in. We know that is the hottest and best time to hit them up for another order. And then once you've proven to them that you're a reliable store by shipping the product, that's the next best time to offer them another order. And then when you've delivered the product, they're gonna open their product up, they're gonna take it out, and they're gonna be like, oh, this is amazing, thank you so much, I love it. And oh look, in my email, there's, an, there's a delivery confirmation email with a lovely discount there. I'm gonna go back in and order. Sound good to you? Let me show you how to put this all together. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen, get myself organized here. Okay, so inside Shopify, we're going to click on settings and we're gonna go into notifications right down here. In notifications, we're gonna click on customer notifications and we have our order processing uh, we have our order processing notifications right here. We're gonna start with order confirmation. And what you're going to do is create an email just like this one. This is my home craftology email. I've got a bit of text here to welcome them to the family and I've got a 30% discount right here with a custom coupon code right here and a link back to the store where they can actually apply that and go and order. To get the code for this email, what I want you to do is head into the description of this, of this video and there'll be a link here to this paste bin code right here. Actually, it'll be to this paste bin code right here. What I want you to do is click on copy. That will copy the entire code of my custom notification. And I want you to go and find a text editor, which we've got right. Which we've, and I want you to go find a text editor similar to what, uh, I want you to go find a text editor. Any text editor is going to do I want you to press Command V or Control V depending on your PC or your or your. I want you to press Command V or Control V depending if you're Mac or PC. And I want you to scroll up to the top of the text file and slowly scroll down until you see my code right here. So you can edit this to be whatever you want. I'll just make this full screen so you can see. Go through edit edit the words that I've said, make it sound like you, pop, pop in your URL here, pop in your store name right here, and your customer care email goes here. Put your, uh, your discount coupon there, and the code back to your store is right here, so change that, and change the discount code there, and make sure to change it here too. Anyway, where you see your URL, that's gonna be where you put your own store's URL. All right, once you're done there, once you've made all the changes, once you're happy with everything here and, and, and you know you made it sound like you, press Command A or Control A, Control C or Command C, come over to your Shopify notification. We're gonna click on Edit Code, press Control or Command A, and then Control or Command V to copy that all in. What you wanna do then is just do a preview, make sure that this looks the way that you expect it to look, Make sure you've got all of your details there changed, that there's no your URLs in there, that the discount code works, and then you can go ahead and actually close it down and save it. I'm not gonna save it today because that will overwrite my particular notification. All right, so going back now into the rest of the notifications, that was auto confirmation. Let me just go back into notifications here. Next one we want to, uh, the next one we want to change is shipping notification. So same deal goes there. Go to the second link to the, cust the Shopify custom notification two, press copy, bring this all over into your text editor, command A or control A, 
Control V or Command V to copy and paste it. Scroll to the very top, scroll down there and find my custom bits of text here. Change this to sound like you. Put your URL here where it should be. Make sure that this is the way that you talk to your customers, not the way that I talk to my customers. And when you're done, Command A or Control A and then Command V, uh, sorry, Command C or Control C to copy and paste, uh, to copy it through. And we're gonna paste that into our notification right here. We're gonna go edit code, Control A, Command A, whatever, Control, uh, copy and paste that through. And then of course, preview that to make sure that you're happy that it looks like the way that it should, that there is nothing here that is default. And then hit save. And the same all over again for settings, notifications, customer emails. We're going to go with delivery confirmation. Now, where is that one? Let's have a look. Local delivery, you can do out for delivery is fine. That's not the one I did, not, not out for delivery. Local delivery, uh, order locally delivered. That's the one, order locally delivered. So go to my third link, which is my custom notification three. Same deal, copy that off to text editor, paste that bad boy in. All right, let me go edit that to your heart's content, scroll to the top, and then scroll down until you see my custom code right here. Don't forget to use your 30% off coupon. It's activated for the next 24 hours. Go, 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 go. Edit that out. Select all, copy that, pop back into Shopify, edit your code, and then Control and V, or Command and V, whichever is your flavor. So that is how, let me just switch back to, so that is how we can easily make a very swift change to now recapture our, what am I trying to say? So guys, that was a quick hack for you to make right now that's going to allow you to retarget, not really. That's a quick hack that you can make right now in under five minutes that's going to help you get customers back from your purchase. No. <laughs> Let's start one more time. Hey guys, so there you go. That is a very quick hack that's going to take you under five minutes, no apps installed, a little tiny bit of custom code, but it's going to make the world of difference because so many people are going to open those emails, click on that link and use that code in the future. So you'll have a customer that you've spent maybe $50 on Facebook to acquire, and now you get to actually easily make a purchase from them again, and again, and again, because these emails are emails that people open all the time, over and over and over again. I hope you capture many, many customers for the second and third purchases with this one simple method. Look forward to my next video where I can show you even more little golden nuggets that are gonna help you implement a much better conversion rate on your Shopify store, and I'll see you in the next one.